Hey, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to customize one of Slider Evolution's most popular templates, the awesome Portal Discovery Hero template. And the techniques we're going to cover will also help you in customizing any other Slider Revolution template you'd like to use as well. Okay, let's begin. Okay, so here I am in the Slider Revolution dashboard. And the first thing I want to do is create a new module from a template. And we want to work with the Portal Discovery Hero template. So to locate it, we'll just search for Portal. And then once you see the template, just go ahead and hit the plus button and then click install template. This has created a module on the site based on that template. So we're going to go ahead and edit that. And now let's take a quick look at what we're working with. So we've got this really awesome video playing in the background and the centerpiece is this arch. When you click it, you get this really awesome transition that takes you from one place to another and then you have another video playing in the background. So what we're going to do is use this as sort of a canvas and we're going to swap out some of the elements to turn it from something that would be suitable for say a travel website and in our case we're going to turn this into a music themed header. So instead of having an archway we're going to have a pair of headphones and in the background we're going to have some videos playing of different concert events. We're also going to change the colors. So instead of having this yellow color around the design, we're going to have a blue color and then we're going to edit some of the text to suit our music theme as well. Okay, let's get started on that process. The first thing we're going to do is replace this archway. This is the centerpiece of this design. So we want something else that can equally act as a centerpiece. So click that archway to select it. You can do that on the canvas or you can click down on the template on the layer named portal. That should take you into the layer options tab and into the content subsection. And from there, you can see here we have our archway image and we're going to replace that with an image that is included with Slider Revolution. So we'll open up the object library where we can find all the included images. We're going to switch into the objects subsection here because in here we've got a heap of images that already have perfectly cut out transparent backgrounds. And to find the headphones image that I mentioned earlier, we'll click the music category in the left sidebar. And then here are our headphones. And for our purposes, we'll take the large size version. All right, so that already looks pretty cool. It's a really nice central featured image that everything else in the design can work around. It is just a little bit too big for this layout. So with the layer still selected, I'm gonna switch into the size and pause subsection. Make sure that this little lock icon is turned on so we keep our aspect ratio the same and then change it from 1200 pixels to 1100 pixels. Okay, so now that's much better. We've got a little bit more clearance around the outside of the image. So that's something you can always do when you're customizing a template. If you put in a replacement image and it doesn't quite fit, then you can always just tweak the size a little bit so it works better in the layout. The next thing that we want to do is make sure that we have a background that matches our music theme. So we're going to replace this video background that we have now. So I'm going to hover my mouse over the timeline so it opens up again. I'm going to scroll to the top of the timeline. And then this layer here controls our background layer. And I'm going to click this little folder icon to go into the background options area. And once again, we're going to use one of the pieces of media that is included with Slider Revolution. And to access those, we'll click the object library. We know we're going with a musical theme, so we're going to drill down into the music category on the left here. And here we've got three different concert videos and we're going to use each one of those as the background for a different slide. So we'll just grab this first one to begin with, click the plus button to insert it into the background. And I'm going to save that and preview it. And there you go, you can see that's already looking pretty cool. Just those couple of small changes has completely changed the theme of the design. Now there's one thing that you might notice here and that is the colors of this background video are a little bit different to what the last background video was. And sometimes it's a little bit hard to read the text. There's not quite enough contrast. So we're going to use a little trick to fix that problem. We're going to use a shape layer to act as a darkening overlay on that background. So we'll go up to add layer and then we'll choose shape in the layer options tab in the sidebar and the size and pause subsection. 
We're going to make this cover the entire background by clicking in size presets and choosing cover. And you can see that that's automatically filled up this entire space here. But we also want it to cover the whole background. So to make that happen, we're going to go into layer align and we're going to change it from layer area to scene. So now instead of just covering the layer area here, which is outlined with a blue dotted line, it's covering the entire scene. So everything in the background is going to be covered by this overlay. And then looking down in the timeline, right now this shape is on top of all of our other layers. So it's covering all of our text and our headphones and everything. We don't want that. We only want it to cover the slide background. So we're just going to click and drag this layer to the bottom of the timeline. And now you can see that it's only darkening that background and everything else is now more easily readable. So let's save and preview again, just to see that effect more clearly. There we go. So that's great. So now we've got our video background. The text is all quite readable and the contrast is strong enough. All right, next up, let's change the colors. So we're going to replace this yellow color that we have in multiple locations on the design to a blue color. Let's start with the button. So we're going to click on the button on the canvas, switch into the style subsection. And down here in the background panel, you can see the BG color is set to yellow right now. So click that little color tile to open the color picker. And we're going to change the color code to give us a nice blue. And the color code that you can enter is 00DCFF. So then I'm going to hit enter. So you can see that nice blue color we have now. And if I move this out of the way, there's that blue color applied to the button. And we want to use this blue color in multiple locations. So we're also going to save it as a preset. So you can give that blue color any preset name that you like. So down here in the save preset field, I'm just going to enter the word blue and then I'm going to click the save preset button. So now we've got our blue color here that we can use with a simple click anywhere else in the design. So let's click the blue tick button here to apply our changes. So now we can apply that same color to this text here that currently reads teleport yourself. So for this layer, I've selected it. I'm in the style subsection again, and here we have the text color. So I'm going to click to open the color picker box, click the blue preset that we just created. And there you go. It's automatically applied that same color to our text here. Click the blue tick to apply. And then we're also going to do the same thing here with our slide counter. So I'm going to click on the yellow text here and then change the text color to our preset and commit that change. So let's have a quick save and preview. All right, so now we've got our blue here, here, and here. We also need to change the blue on the navigation. So let's do that next. And to change the navigation colors, we need to jump into the navigation options tab in the right sidebar. And now you can see that that has made our navigation bullets visible. We're gonna switch into the bullets subsection so we can control those bullets and then we'll scroll down and in the navigation style panel, you'll see we have this hover bullet color. And then just the same thing again, click that little color tile, click the preset and apply the change. So there you go. Now our bullet here is blue. And then the last area that we need to change our colors is actually in the global layers. So I'll just show you quickly. In some templates, you'll see aspects of the design that stay in place from slide to slide. So these menu items here and here and this logo and these social icons, when I change from slide to slide, you see that they just stay in place. So when you see that happen, that's a pretty good indication that those layers are actually on the global layers rather than in a particular slide. So to access global layers, we're going to go up to the slides menu and click global layers. And now we can see all those elements that I just pointed out. I'm just going to scroll down so I can see the social icons at the bottom. I'm going to click this first icon here. And if you're having trouble clicking on one of these icons, then you can also just navigate through the timeline. You'll see the social icons here, these three layers. And in this case, it's just the border color that's yellow. So we're in the style subsection. I'm going to scroll down to the border panel and change the border color to blue. And do the same thing 
for each of our social icons. Made very quick and easy with our preset. And scrolling up to the top, we'll do the same thing on the get in touch link up here. This is also using a border color, which we will change to blue. And then the logo, this is pretty cool. This is not actually a graphic. This is two different pieces of text. So that makes them a lot more customizable. So if we're going to take this dot, select that. And this is actually just a full stop or a period, depending on which part of the world you're from. And we're going to change that text color to blue. So now we've updated the color for every part of this layout. Everything is customized to use our new blue color instead of the original yellow. And while we're looking at this logo, let's also take advantage of how customizable it being in text form makes it. And I'm going to select that letter P. In its layer options, I'm going to switch into the content subsection. And I'm just going to switch it out for a different letter that better suits the new theme. This is a sound oriented design, so let's go with the letter S. And now just like that, you effectively have a custom logo. And while we're editing text, let's go ahead and edit some of the other text with our own custom content as well. So let's say this design is selling a pair of headphones. We're more likely to want something like models instead of examples. So as I just did, you can select the layer and then jump into the content subsection and just replace that text with anything you like. So there we go, just like that, that text is updated. And while we're looking at this, this text is designed to link somewhere. So you could have this link off to another page of your website, for example. And the way that you would customize the link is by selecting that layer, clicking this actions button here, and you'll get a pop-up. And in this pop-up, you'll see this pink line here that says simple link. If you click that, then the link URL is here and you can replace that with anything you like. So as I mentioned, it can be a link to another page on your website, perhaps off to a store, whatever you need to link that to. So just exit out of that. And just to also point out, it's the same thing with this get in touch button. The same thing there, you have actions that you can use to customize where that links to. And once again, the same thing with each of these social links. They also have actions. You can add the URLs to each one of your social media profiles in here. Okay, so we've customized everything that we need to change in the global layers. So let's just finish off the text customization by going back into the first slide here. And just as an extra note, here is where you can click the learn more button and you can also click the action subsection and change the link for that button as well. And now let's update this text to make it also suit our music slash headphones theme. So what we're going with here is the idea that these headphones can transport you from one concert to another as though you are experiencing live music from anywhere. So we'll change teleport yourself to transport yourself. So once again, we'll click that layer and in the content subsection, we're just going to edit that text. So it says transport. We'll change our main heading here from discover new places to live sound anywhere. And then for this paragraph of text, we're going to replace that with something about our headphones. So you'll notice that instead of being four lines like the text was before, this is three lines and that sort of throws the layout out a little bit. So a trick that you can use to get around that instead of making more complex adjustments to the layout, this won't always work, but it sometimes will, is just simply to add an extra space at the start of the text box. So now as far as the layout is concerned, this is exactly the way it was before. And it still looks just as nice as it did before with the original four lines of text. Oh, and there is one more piece of text to edit in the global layers. Now that we've established this concept that the headphones are transporting you from concert to concert. So let's just jump back into the global layers. And then down here, instead of saying click the gate to switch between places, we're going to say click the headphones to go to a new show. All right, so now let's save that and see what we've got. Okay, awesome, that looks great. So we've got a custom image, background video, the text has all been modified and we have a custom color in. Now we just need to extend those changes to the rest of the module. But before we do that, anytime you make any changes to the layout of a template, it's a really good idea to check on the different layout sizes to make sure that everything still looks good and is laid out well on the laptop, tablet and phone sizes. Sometimes when you make little layout changes, you also have to make adjustments at smaller sizes too. 
So let's quickly check those by switching into laptop view. Okay, that still looks great. Slider Revolution will handle a lot of the adjustments for you. So for example, when I shrunk the size of the headphones at the desktop layout, it also automatically shrank the size of the headphones on all the other layouts as well. So that's why that is all still laid out really nicely. And then we've got the tablet layout. That is also still looking really good. There's nothing here that we need to change. And then finally the phone layout. And once again, that is looking great as well. So that set of customizations went really seamlessly and there was nothing that we had to do to adjust things after the fact. So now we know that everything is good. Let's take what we've done and duplicate it out to some additional slides. So you could theoretically, you could go to your other slides and you could manually make the same changes if you wanted to. But in this case, it's actually gonna be more efficient for us to delete the rest of the slides and then duplicate our first slide and work with that duplicate that already has all of our changes in place. So we're gonna go up to the slides menu, hover over the second slide and then move across to this little bin button. We'll click that to delete this slide and then say yes, delete slide. We'll do the same thing for slide number three, delete that. And once again for slide number four. Now let's make two extra slides for the two other concepts that the headphones are gonna transport you to. So we'll go up to slides again, hover over slide number one, and this time this icon here will duplicate the slide. So let's click that. Okay, so now that looks the same, but if you hover over the slides menu, you can see we're now on slide number two. So now, because we've got all of our colors and customizations in place, all we really need to do is change the background video. So in the timeline, we'll scroll to the slide BG animation layer, click the little folder to access the background settings, click the object library button here to get back into our collection of available videos. Once again, we'll go into the music section and this time we'll grab the second concert video, click the plus button to insert that in the background and that's everything we need to do for this slide. So that's already ready to go. And let's make one more duplicate. And then the same thing again, we're just gonna replace the background video, same way that you just did, into the music subsection. And let's insert the nightclub video. All right, so that should be everything. So let's save and preview what we've got. Just switch back into the desktop view so we can see everything a little bit more clearly. Okay, so now you can see that we've got three bullets down here showing how many slides we have. And we can click the headphones to go to a new show. And then our new concert video starts playing in the background. I'll click again. And there's our third slide. Okay, so that is working great. And just as a little note, you can also navigate this module by clicking the navigation bullets down here. So you can jump to any slide that you like. or you can also navigate by scrolling your mouse wheel. So if I scroll down, that takes me to the next slide. Or if I scroll up, I go back to the previous slide. All right, so that is everything. We've now customized the Portal Discovery Hero template with custom images, videos, colors, and text. And we also touched on how you can add in your own links to each of the navigation items, as well as modifying the text-based logo to suit the theme of your new design. So hopefully that shows you how straightforward it can be to customize one of these templates and turn it into something that uses a totally different theme. In this case, we've used some of the included media that comes with Slider Revolution, but of course you can add in any of your own graphics and videos that you like. So thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.